All right, guys, time to study a little bit more tape. Changing up a little bit. Don't worry, we're not leaving the football fundamental series, but I want to add a little bit extra. That way, if you guys are <clears> – <throat> maybe you're not wanting to learn some football fundamentals, you want to study more of the Saints last year, we're going to do a little bit of both as we get ready for training camp. So <clears throat> today, let's take a look at every interception by Marshawn Lattimore back in the 2017 season. We're going to take a look at the coverages, what he did well, how he was able to get these interceptions, and if he can replicate that moving forward – and we're also going to talk a little bit about what some of these things mean. Now, keep in mind, we're not going to go super in-depth. You know, uh, that's what the football fundamental videos are for. So I'm going to mention things like Cover 3. I'm going to reference inside the pylon so you guys can see a written version. But mostly, we're going to stick to the tape. But without further ado, because i got a lot to run through, let's go ahead and get into this. A little bit of everything. But we'll start with what we'll see first. Cover 3. I want to give you guys a brief synopsis of what that is so you guys know. Right here, we'll go ahead and read it. Cover three is a zone defense where the three defensive backs, typically two outside corners and a free safety, divide the deep portion of the field into thirds. So one, two, three, you can count them. With four defenders, a combination of the strong safety, linebackers and nickel or dime backs underneath. The safety in the box helps guards against the run. Underneath zones protect against crossing routes that can stymie man coverage. Four underneath defenders provide options for blitzing, and three, four teams can often pair their zone blitz concepts with cover three, and, and actually um, four, three teams can do that as well, uh, just different variations. Uh, that way you can have a three and three. Outside corners effectively play man-to-man -man against vertical routes, so cover three tends to not to give as many easy completions as many zone defenses. You see a lot of teams in the league relying a lot on cover three including your New Orleans Saints. Now, there's also various ways to run cover three. And we're going to take a look at our first play here. This is, so we're starting going from five down number one. So this is the fifth interception of the year against Atlanta in uh, Christmas Eve in New Orleans. And what you're going to see here is a little bit different version of a cover three. Because uh, first glance, you're going to look and say, hey, looks like Marshawn Lattimore is actually behind right here and he's not keeping up with his man. And this is what we call um, match coverage. So we mentioned it actually in a recent podcast uh, that Aaron Glenn and Dennis Allen would ran, run cover three match coverages. So first thing is, what's a match coverage? We just explained what cover three was, and I'll draw this on the screen so you can understand. So let's just split this, split this. So that means we got a third here, we got a third here, and we got a third here. And basically we're going to hear the deep zone. Everybody's got third. We're dropping back. So drop back. Safety, drop back. Corner, drop back. Deep third. So what we do in a match system is depending on the route that the receiver gives us, we're going to match in man coverage to that instead of dropping back in our zone. So right here with uh, Marshawn Lattimore being on the backside of a three-by-one set, so three-by-one means you've got three receivers on one side of the ball, and one receiver on the other side. He is going to be playing the one. Uh, this one route right here. He's watching deep. So he's going to make sure his side doesn't get beat deep. And then you're going to see the safety. Marcus Williams has got the middle third. And then you're going to see the match and the pass off here at the bottom of your screen. So here's what's able to happen. Now, this is there's obviously a little luck involved in this play. This is the buttception. But it's a good job by him reacting because uh, Marcus Williams is a little bit late to get over here. Now, the key, is, and I honestly don't know the answer to this question, is is he slow to jump on this route because he's fearing a post route from the opposite side? Uh, so, And I actually talked to a good friend who I went to the scouting academy with, and he mentioned this, that they could be running the Yankee concept. And if that happens where you're dropping out here and you're running a post, you got to watch out because if you vacate that middle of the field, leave middle of the field open, you know, you could have a big open space that leads to a big touchdown. So it's a good job here by Lattimore to react to this because this actually is not a bad passing concept to call against this defense and attack underneath the safety. It's just a really good athletic play by Lattimore to catch up, and he's just in the right spot at the right time, or should we say his butt is in the right spot at the right time. Also, just a couple things to note here because I know this got debated a little bit in – some Saints groups. So the Saints are in a dime formation here. They've only got one linebacker on the field playing cover three match. Lattimore is playing off and soft here. They're sugaring the A-gap. Uh, like I said, this is something we'll talk about in football fundamental videos just to show you what that is. 
sugaring the A-gap is what's happening right here. So they've got a linebacker lined up in the first A-gap, and then another player lined up the other gap showing blitz. That's called sugaring the A-gap. We'll talk about that more on a football fundamental video. And that is it. Let's get to the next one because we have got a lot of stuff to go through and not a lot of time. The fourth one is actually pretty simple. This is an in-the-game situation against the New York Jets. They're also doing basically another three-deep coverage, and Lattimore is just simply going to be a better athlete. Get to the ball first. Easy peasy interception. Not a ton to really dive into here because, like I said, this is an in-the-game situation. 21 seconds left on the clock. Not even a lot of people left in the stands. But it is a good opportunity to just kind of learn basics and keep an eye on coverage. So there you see your middle safety, corner dropping back, Lattimore drop back in, and you can see that they're definitely playing this deep ball because look at where Lattimore's body is. He's not even on the receiver. He's got a good three-yard width there because he's playing deep, making sure he doesn't get beat behind him, and that's the only thing you're really worried about in this type of situational football. Let's get to the next one. Next, no more Bryce Petty. So once again against Atlanta, this time is in Atlanta, and you're going to see the Saints in nickel coverage and cover two playing man under. So what we're going to do is we're going to transition back to our um, friends and family and loved ones over at Inside the Pylon because I want you guys to read a little bit about Cover 2 Under. So you've heard about Cover 2. We've actually talked about it as a football fundamental, but we didn't talk about Cover 2 Under. We talked about Tampa 2. Cover 2 Under is a similar concept, and you see it's sometimes called Cover 2 Man Under or Cover 5. This is a coverage where the two safeties split the deep part of the field, as in Cover 2, but the five underneath defenders – Match up in man coverage. The man defenders typically play a trail technique in this set, which is just following behind the receiver since they have help over the top. So the opposite of what you just saw Lattimore do in the previous play, he's not playing trail there. He's leading over the top. This time they're trailing behind, and they face away from the line of scrimmage with their backs turned because they're playing the man, the receiver, in man coverage. So like I said, we'll cover football fundamental videos and all that, but we're trying to fly through these as quickly as we can. But that's the basics of cover two man under or cover two under, or whatever you guys want to cover. Cover two man is called all kinds of things, depending on who you talk to. So here's the play. So we've got our two deep safeties here, and we are in press coverage down in the box, down on the line. Everybody's manned up. And what you're going to see run from Atlanta here is you're going to see a, sh a slant flat concept underneath, which is going to be this right here. So we've got a slant flat. And then the top, uh, I believe it's supposed to be double slant. But because Lattimore jams Julio so well, he's not able to actually get into his break. So let's watch this play full speed, and then we'll talk about it. All right, here it comes. Bam, look at that jam. Stops the slant. Now, the key there, a lot of people are going to be like, well, he's got his hands all over him. Is it legal? Look where these hands engage. So the line of scrimmage is right there at the 43. That engagement is starting at the 41, goes to the 40. He is inside the range of that five yards, and then he's able to prevent the break. Now, you know, Matt Ryan's putting a lot of trust on Julio Jones here. This is Julio Jones where he's supposed to be better than everybody he's facing against. And I'm, this is not me knocking Julio. Julio's an amazing wide receiver. But Lattimore, because he presses and jams, he's able to take this route away from the jump. And it looks like in this case, Ryan's sticking to a half, sticking to a half field read, or maybe he's just going Julio the whole way. Because you've got a lot of guys here. You're running a pivot route. Right here over the middle, you've got a slant flat. You know, so the right side would seem to be you know a good option to go to, but he's staring down Julio and he's expecting Julio to make a way. And Lattimore simply is better this rep. He wins, gets that press, takes away the inside, and then man, there he goes. One thing you'll give credit to Julio though, nice tackle at the end, Julio Jones, but phenomenal interception playing in a cover two under here. And you see we've got a little bit of a Pass off there with Teo staying over the middle. Nickel package, and there you go. Next one, I'm going to be against Chicago. And this is interception number two, the fourth one we're going to take a look at here. The I think they're running a cover three buzz here, but um, th this is going to be a ball that's overthrown completely. For those who don't know, when I'm talking about cover three buzz, uh, a buzz is when you have a safety who leaks underneath to uh, – Basically peek in, see if he can't sneak an interception. But uh, I'm not 100% sure that this is cover three buzz. But anyway, Lattimore's at the bottom of your screen right here. Run this assignment, and you're going to see this guy cut inside. So they're going to have two post routes on top of each other, which makes it difficult 
Uh, basically putting this guy in conflict, the deep safety. Lattimore is just in a good position, uses his athletic ability to get this overthrown ball. And uh, I'm not sure if it's a miscommunication between the quarterback and the receiver where he thinks he's supposed to stay going on a seam route or, or if it's just a plain overthrown football. But it's a great job by Lattimore here to uh, make a play, make a jump. I mean, uh, you take them how you can get them. If you can get free interceptions like that, we'll take them all day long. Watch one more time for this angle. And you see it's nowhere close. So you got to wonder if it's one of those where they were expecting or Mitch Trubisky was expecting something else. So final one we have here on the day. This is against Detroit, the first interception for Marshawn Lattimore last year. Cover one, and you see the Saints right here, cover one playing one deep defender, and they're going to crash down in a uh, in man coverage. So let's just go ahead and get to the snap now. You see Stafford peeking left. Lattimore is going to come down when he sees that, and he's going to play press. And you got Crawley on the other side playing press. And this is a natural rub route that they're going for here. Lattimore does a good job to miss it. And this is, a pretty sure, just a communication between receiver and quarterback. So when Stafford releases, he's expecting his receiver to come straight. This is almost like a tunnel screen here, the way they're setting it up. But um, and I say tunnel screen because you've seen Michael Thomas, where he'll just run straight towards the O-line, O-line will break through. It's almost like that's almost the type of uh, comeback he's expecting. But instead he turns up field, and the Lattimore is just in a great spot here to make a play on the ball. This is almost a gift, and he's going to take it all the way back for six points to the house. He does a good job avoiding the rub. You'd like to see a little bit better, but, I mean, this that's a play that's just designed to come at you. Good job by uh, reading here, the defender for the Saints, reading to come up on this. If it is caught, it's going to be a short gain. These plays are really difficult when you're playing that press situation to move out of. Good job by him showing the athletic ability to adjust, make this pick, and take it to the house there and uh so one of the things i want to do here as i as i talked about all this and now my phone of course wants to blow up when i'm trying to make a video but i apologize for that let me transition to the screen is i want to show not only the interceptions but the versatility so the the ability for him to play in multiple coverages to play in zone coverage to play in man coverage how he was able to react and make plays on the football so you'll see a lot of rookies coming in who Coming out of college, a lot of guys are really good at or adept at man or they're really adept at zone, but it's not often you'll see those who can you know, play as well in both forms. And I would say that man was a little bit more of a strength for Lattimore, especially early on in the year as he continued to grow and develop as a zone defender. But you get towards the end of the year, and it's impressive that he's still able to get these interceptions and do what he's doing because he hit the rookie wall. I mean, he hit that fourth quarter of the season. And you could tell the athleticism was down a little bit. There's a little nagging injuries that started to pop up, but he was still playing and still making plays on the football and still having a really, really good year. I, and I think one of the things that impresses me the most about that season is that he hit that rookie wall. It's tough because you're in college. You're not used to playing 16 games, going all this time, then in the playoffs, and he's still you know, going against Julio Jones and having fantastic battles and, and going against guys like you know Stephon Diggs and, and Adam Thielen and all these other guys and, and still – doing really well and I just love to take time and just dive into what he did and we saw them run various things you know we showed uh, what four different coverages five different coverages here on five different interceptions I think four coverages on five interceptions and one of those was pretty generic because it was the New York Jets game end of the game you know uh, love that he's got the ball skills love his athleticism you got to hope that he can only continue to grow and get better as he gets his technique on par with his tremendous athleticism. And that's not to say his technique's bad. It's certainly not. We saw some good technique here on tape as we look over his interceptions. But I think the level of athlete he is, you start to grow. Every year you expect to get better. His technique will improve. We're really looking forward to seeing him in the 2018-2019 season, how he matches up. It's just been real fun for me to go over these with you. So I managed to keep in my time frame right at the 15-minute mark. Hope you guys have enjoyed this video. We'll be doing similar things like this, but Marshawn Lattimore is a great story this year. Let's see if he's a better story going into this next season. If you guys enjoyed the show, drop a like, drop a subscribe. And if you got questions, feel free to drop those too. If you want to know more about these coverages, we will be doing football fundamental videos to dive into those and basically turn those into 10, 15 minute, 10, 15 minute videos in their own rights. And if you really enjoy the show, 
Think about supporting it. You know, you can support through Patreon. You can support through PayPal. You know, you can uh, subscribe to Twitch if you've got Amazon Prime. And you know, many ways you can support it. And we appreciate everything that you are willing to do. The more that you support, the more of these things that we can put out and more content that can be produced. So, who that? God bless. And we'll see you in the next one. Peace. 